All right, let's chase that 33 streak to Mega Satan. We get the regular hourglass and we get card reading. We just started with card reading recently. And frankly, it's a really, really nice item to start with. I love that thing. Um, it, it gets you to item rooms for free sometimes, which is nice. It gets you to the item rooms immediately at the start of the floor as well. Nice. At the start of the floor as well. Uh, which means a lot of the time you just get your your power boost for the floor instantly. That hit me. Oh, oh. Well, that's a problem. Can I move the chest between Satan's hands, please? Uh oh. I'm actually a champion hit from death now. That's not good. Ooh, don't get hit here. I'm just too good at this game. Alright, cool. Hi! I'm actually so glad. Oh, the dodge. I'm actually so glad I found that soul heart before coming in here. Two spades. I think I'm gonna have a better use for the two of spades than now. Focus of death. Okay. After after that self bomb, I'm actually kind of scared. <laughs> Although that's something that should never happen and should also never repeat. All right, Temperance card. Uh, that is a really nice Eternal Heart. Although admittedly, that blue map is looking less and less likely by the minute. Especially now that the Temperance Machine didn't give me a single coin. Nine coins, okay. Hey, is this live or pre-recorded? Uh, yes. Mom's underwear. All right. It's a prequel. All right, we get the secret room for free. That's neat. Which is good, because that secret location was dumb. And I'm glad I didn't have to find it myself. Well, I mean, I need to see the rest of the map to decide if it was dumb, but... It certainly didn't look pleasant. Alright, our health situation is looking a lot better now. Eh, there's probably gonna be a room below the secret room, and then I could've rather easily found it, I guess. Come on, dude. <laughs> Garbage. Yeah, I mean, that would have probably been my first guess for the secret room location then. The nice thing about card reading is also that after Depths 2, it massively speeds up your run. Because a lot of the time, it's just going to take us straight to the boss room. Oops. Remember no devil deal. I do remember no devil deal. But the run would be so much fun for you all if I actually went for the devil deal. I shouldn't have gone in here. Never mind. I knew it was mom's key. Yup. 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 That's why I came here. I knew I was going to get plus one key in there. Wow, that tried to assassinate me. Actually a bit surprised I hit that. <laughs> like, 10 keys should easily get us through the game, honestly. Again? Dude, we had you just last run. And immediately put you down too, and I think that was on basement too as well. Alright, easy peasy floor. 
There was never any danger of us dying in the last two floors. Yup, yup. Um, we're gonna go to the secret room. Oh, really? Oh, what? You teleported me into the curse room. Well, since I'm here now and there's this body, why not? Yeah, easy, easy, easy flipping peasy. Who needs devil deals to get devil deal items? The damage up from the robes is nice as well. Probably even better than the black hearts, honestly. Robs, did you know that if every human on Earth held hands and tried to build a line around the equator that a lot of people would drown? Um, I, I haven't thought about that, to be honest, but it makes sense. There's a lot of freaking water around there. You gotta get all the swimmers to, to actually be the ones in the Wauda. I guess. And then you also have to, to form the entire line really flipping quickly. Finally, a use item worth my time. I fear hypothermia as well. Well, and that's why nobody invites you to form a line around the equator. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. It's gonna take forever to get him into phase two, and then however long it takes for him to pop his head out in phase in phase two. Wait, wait, this is the champion. This guy is in phase two. I should have immediately bombed him when I saw the button. Well, I might as well. No, wait, I can't kill him. I need to save this bomb for the angel, actually. Good thing I derped. Yeah, angel, by the way. Take. Tick is good. I like the tick. Or 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 that. I mean that also works. <laughs> Don't be red. No! Every time I see tick I hesitate like the old Isaac days. Funnily enough, people kept asking me during my speedrun days why I keep the tick, why I take the tick. Because a lot of the viewers came over from old Isaac, right? And didn't realize, like, how good of a trinket it was. Like, Tick is legitimately a really good trinket. The only reason you wouldn't take it in old Isaac is because it made it impossible to take the Polaroid. Those good old racing days where people lost races because they stood in the middle of a room and a Tick fell on their head. <laughs> But yeah, like, the tick itself is a legitimately really good trinket. It chips 25% off of each boss's health that you encounter. And then also heals you. That's really good. But yeah, there were, there were times when a tick ruined your run. You know what also ruins your runs? Fighting an angel with 2.29 tier 8. Our damage isn't even that bad. We have 5.1 damage, but... What low tier rate does to an MF. I'm gonna regret this. Whatever, so far, because I can just leave. Alright. I love buttons. I love buttons. Goodbye. Buttons are the greatest. 
Infamy is also pretty great. Chance to block tears. Your boy needs some tear aid, dude. We do have a wafer now too, that's nice. Your boy also needs some bombs. Not only for that tinted rock, but also to blow up the angel. So let's get some bombs in here. Hmm. Oh my god, this guy. Buttons confirmed S tier. I, I love buttons. They're great. Buttons are the greatest. Now, what isn't the greatest is 2.29 tier, right? How many gift subs for the boss rush requirement on this run? <laughs> I mean, I know you're joking, but if you want to do that kind of thing, you gotta you gotta do that up front and not when we're at 15 minutes in caves too. <laughs> I can guarantee you that it would not be possible for me to make the boss rush at this point. <laughs> I mean, I could start forget me nowing and hoping to hit error rooms, but even then, it's gonna get dicey because if the build doesn't significantly improve, like I'm pretty sure if we teleported straight to depths two from here, it would still be really unlikely for us to hit the boss rush. <laughs> The fool. Thanks, Infamy. I'm gonna need your services plenty this this run. No, oh, let's just use that here. We just get Sacred Heart. Ironically, Sacred Heart would lower our tier rate even further. I mean, it would improve the run, no doubt, but. It would still feel terrible, I guarantee you. It would feel terrible because our tier rate would be so bad. I'd obviously jump on Sacred Heart, though. I might be back for you. I'm definitely gonna be back for you. Soy milk time? That would fix our tier rate. I mean, honestly, this would be the perfect run for soy milk. Comparatively high damage, abysmal tier rate. I'd be I'd be okay with soy milk, honestly. That's a spooky chest. What would be the best angel room find? Revelation would be up there. Honestly, I think we're still early enough for Sacred Orb to be bonkers too. Sacred Orb is such an underrated item. <laughs> Dead Sea Scrolls. All right, if we get an angel room on this floor and find Dead Sea Scrolls, we're gonna ban Fedgehog. Oh. Have I blown up a guy yet? No, but I only have one bomb, <laughs> so... There's not a lot of guy blowing up. This guy is a pain, actually. Like, this is a legitimately really hard boss, and I can't even bomb them. Oh, got faked out. Thanks, Infamy. Oh my god, I'm immortal. A wafer relic? That's it, chat. That's it. It might be the slowest run ever, <laughs> but it certainly can't die. <clears throat> Why is the devil deal chance 0%? Because we did not go to the first devil deal. And thus we had a guaranteed angel room. I kind of just watched that hit me, that was dumb. 
How did I get the first key piece though? I took a red chest that teleported me to the devil deal. Oh no. Hey! Oh my goodness! Keeper sack! We be feasting in the next shop! Chat! This is gonna be bonkers! Once I find that store. That improves the run? Well, not yet. We could hit two greeds now, and, and it would actually never do anything. <laughs> Already hit one greed? Okay, well, it's gonna do something at least once then. Right, right, we had greed last floor. Oh, what the hell. <laughs> no. This run may be bad, but it's not that bad. Alright, come on. No greed. Thank you. I'm just gonna buy everything. Except that. All right, that's nice. Suddenly 7.42 damage. This steps one, yes. Ooh. Empress question mark. I don't remain gonna be on this path. This is Necro 1. I already blew up one guy. Eh, we can look for the other one. Lazarus Rags. We have six bombs now, too. And we will not hesitate to use one of them against this boss who just dodged it. Hey, we just gulped the tick. That doesn't seem too healthy, but at least I have room for more trinkets now. There we go. Stye is okay. The soul hearts are okay. <clears throat> All right. Hey, Super Greed here is great because A, he's going to give us a bunch of money and B, Super Greed being here means he can't be in the store. Oh my God, I missed two bombs. Oh no, I'm badge. <laughs> Alright, there's my store. Let's get beefy. Oh boy. Blinky! And the red stew. We're about to get uber beefy. Care about that? Dude, that red stew, that red stew is about to make us reach speedrun levels of speed. Red stew card reading, and we're about to go to uh, uh, past depths, past depths into womb. 
with how bad this run has been so far, we're we're actually about to go mock speed, dude. Ours card. Ice, ice, baby. Luma was actually kind of neat here because we spawned a lot of enemies. I like the move speed. Oh wow. Oh, not the red portal, really? Hmm. was nice. Red portal! Goodbye. Avalon and Little Delirium. That's gonna put me to Polaroid pro uh, to yeah, Polaroid and Horror. So I'm just gonna do that. That lover's card, fantastic. That secret room placement irritates me. I feel like the boss is gonna be to the left. Yeah, it's totally gonna be to the left. But it doesn't matter because in two rooms from now we're gonna pop the undefined and it's just gonna take me to the chest. Also, I should be using this. Oh my god, what is this floor? Dang it. The floor is way too long. This was, a, this was a pretty slow paced run for a really long time. But I'm glad we finally made something. Ooh, don't pick that up. <laughs> that was almost bad.
<laughs> Slow down Isaac summoning the, the light beams. Yeah, little delirium doesn't count for conjoint. Butt bonds. Evil eye. Nope. Haha. <laughs> Balls. I mean, I did say that soy milk would solve all the issues of this run. So almond milk sure as hell does too. Our G raid really wasn't too impressive up until the end there either, so... Like, that was a legitimately good almond milk. Like, I don't even understand what's happening to half of these tiers, but I still think that was a good almond milk. How many freaking sins did you spawn? Jesus Christ. All the delirium transformed into succubus. That's where all these tears are coming from. Uh, incubus, sorry. And then the occasional evil eye also fires shots like crazy. Yeah, that makes sense. Whoops. Who needs to aim? Well, with this build, you don't need to aim. Evil Eye is actually doing some legitimate work here. Look at that. We get so many Evil Eye procs too because our tier rate is so high now. Hey, the Bob's brain! Delirium delivering it. Oh, hey, that was kind of rude. Imagine just instantly opening fire after I've been so nice to this guy. Like, I've tried to make his death really fast and painless. And he goes ahead and just spawns a bunch of damage in my face. Unbelievable. Bosses these days. So rude. I hate this attack. I still haven't fully figured out how to dodge that, but I guess killing him is one way. Alright, goodbye. <laughs>